hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create a new material with pbr textures in v-ray five for sketcher for that first select the material asset editor option so first of all here if you download material you'll get all the ready to render materials over here you'll be getting different category of materials like wood glass steel so on so for creating a new material select this create asset option you can find it at the bottom of window now here i'm going to show you how to create a new metal material for that select the create asset option and here in material i'm going for the generic option and i'm going to rename it as metal and in this metal material i'm going to add a pbr texture to this diffuse parameter we can download different set of pbr textures online so here I have already downloaded one from cc0texture.com and here I'm going to add this bitmap. So I'm adding this color map here. See here that texture got added. So next I'm going to the reflection option. Here in this reflection option I'm leaving all the above parameters and directly I'm going to this metalness and this texture slot here again I'm going to add a metalness map to this texture slot so in this PBR texture kit we can find the metalness map so I'm adding this here and change the color space to linear So now the material is again loaded with a metal coating. So here if you can't find the texture just change the metalness value from 0 to 1 and under the surface control parameter change it from glossiness to roughness. So on the top you can find the reflection roughness parameter. And to this texture slot, I'm going to add the roughness map. So this one is the roughness map. Here again, change its color space to linear. And then in the bump parameter, I'm going to add the normal texture map. And again, this one also change it to linear color space. Now see, the bump layer is also got added and the material looks more realistic now. Then if you want to add the displacement layer, you have to add it separately under this geometry option. And here choose this displacement parameter and you can add the displacement map under this texture slot. So unlike previous versions of V-Ray, you cannot find the displacement map directly under this material parameters. So for each material, if you want, you have to add it separately under this geometry section. And this changes happen to increase the rendering speed. So you can see a significant increase in the rendering speed with V-Ray Pfeiffer Sketcher. So now our material is ready. This is how we can create a new metal material and here you can control all the material parameters until you get the desired result. Thank you all for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos on V-Ray 5 for Sketchup. Thank you.